Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if I'm talking a little bit low, that's because my son is sleeping in the back. But I really wanted to get this tutorial up for you guys because I did a poll on my Instagram stories. If you guys want to follow me on all of my social medias, it's always at Ari and the Glam. So yes, um, I did a poll on my Instagram stories and it was close to being 50-50 for the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette and the Juvia's Place holiday kits. So as much as I wanted to do another look with the Juvia's Place holiday kits, the more um, orange tone palette, if you guys haven't seen that video, I will leave it linked up above. But I did get a lot of votes for the for the ColourPop Stole Cone Fox, so I did want to do that today. This palette is cool toned, it's super cute. Um, I have really been liking the past couple things that ColourPop has released. Um, so yeah, this is what the palette looks like. It's absolutely stunning. So today we're going to be doing a cool tone look. I don't really do those on my channel, so I'm really excited to do one today. So I'm going to be priming with my P. Louise base. Before we get into today's video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys never miss a video from me. And subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this look. Um, I definitely want to use the grace. Like, I've never used gray shadow. Uh, maybe I have, but like, that I remember, I don't remember. So I'm going to be taking a brush and I'm going to be going into the shade called Rumor Mill, which is the gray shade. And I'm just going to be applying that into my outer corner and slowly working it into the inner part of my eye. By the way, you guys, um, it is the 29th of October today, and um, you guys will see this video probably on the 31st, unless I decide to upload this on a Sunday, which will be November 1st, just because of Halloween. Like, I don't know if it's going to be good to upload on Halloween, since a lot of people are going to be having parties, um, or, you know, just taking pictures with their family, so... I definitely want to probably upload on Sunday. So it really just depends on what day you guys see this video. So yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit of a rumor mill. Um, as far as like my Halloween plans, I'm obviously not going to be like doing anything crazy. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to be doing like, maybe I'll do like a makeup look on Halloween if I have time. But for the most part, I'm just going to be hanging out with my son and probably watching like Halloween movies. Um, and yeah, I don't work on Saturdays, so that's pretty nice. I don't like working on Halloween. I just feel like that's such a fun holiday, you know? I will be working the next holidays, um, like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Christmas Eve. But I love those holidays, like don't get me wrong, but I, I don't know. There's something about like working on Halloween that I just don't like. I mean, I've always liked, um, I guess, like Halloween a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade called Rock Bottom and I'm adding that to my lid and my crease and I'm just kind of blending it. I haven't done a smoky eye on my channel, so I figure today I'd do that. And I'm just taking that brush and yeah, I'm just putting that shade. But now I really don't have any of um, Rumor Mill on my eye. So I'm going to grab another brush. So I do want to use Rumor Mill, but for now I'm going to use Rumor Mill and a little bit of round type. No, bold type. And it's kind of making like a gray shade. And I'm just going to be blending that out. Since like I don't have primer, it like sticks onto the primer. 
like since I don't extend it out all the way, um, I feel like that's why it looks like a little thing. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly clean it up with this makeup wipe that I have near me, and of course, like I have a lot of black in my corner. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using a little bit of the brown called Query Days. it a little bit more brown. I don't want it to look just too cool tone. I just want to add a little bit of that brown. So far these shades are blending like really well and I really like them. So for the lead shade I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this brush and I'm gonna be adding a little bit of magnetic moon to just like this inner part. Like, I literally haven't done a dramatic look, but I don't feel like that looks too bad. Today is the 29th. Um, you guys will be seeing this video a little bit later, but the day that I'm filming it, the Mandalorian The Child palette came out from ColourPop, and I was one of the lucky ones to got my hands on it. I don't even know if it's sold out yet, so it could still be available and we all be lucky. But from what I know, I, I haven't checked their website. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, using the Glamwell Moisturizer. Um, they're just releasing more and more sneak peeks of the Milk Cosmetics Beetlejuice Collection. And yeah, I feel like some people are being kind of like Debbie Downers and they're like, Oh my god, like you should have released this earlier because like he's Halloween. But I'm like, honestly, if you grew up like me like Beetlejuice was like a yearly movie I mean I can still watch Beetlejuice like in the summer like I freaking love Beetlejuice so Beetlejuice to me like I understand it's a Halloween movie duh but one time I went to this Halloween parade and I remember seeing Beetlejuice and I was so confused because I was like wait isn't Beetlejuice like all year but then I was like no dude like it's Halloween um but I used to always watch Beetlejuice during the summer, so yeah, I mean during Halloween too, but I feel like I would remember that it was like a summer day and my mom would put, put like, uh, would make us nachos and we would just watch Beetlejuice, like me and my brother, so Beetlejuice is an all year thing for myself, so yeah. When I see people make those comments, I'm like, girl, you don't watch Beetlejuice all year round? Get it together. I obviously understand that, like, Beetlejuice is Halloween, but, um, Milk Cosmetics, I mean, I've always been interested in the brand. I followed them even before I got to purchase a lot of their products, but to me, like, Mel, like, never released this many products i'm pretty sure they've only released this many products recently because they're now um, being sold in sephora and there's this thing that if you're sold in sephora like you have to come out with products pretty consistently um i think it's just part of the contract and yeah so i mean that does suck if they're like i obviously know that they're like really big fans of the movie like i don't doubt that but you know it's kind of like maybe like the sephora bib sale is coming up so this would be like a good timing to get a lot of sales because the collection would probably be available at sephora i'm not really sure if they would be coming out with that collection if they were um like maybe they would have released it for halloween because what was their last release i can't even remember um, oh, they recently just came out too with like contour things, like creams and powders. But like, I'm super excited. I also did pick up a couple other things that you guys will be seeing in my haul. I probably will be filming 
my haul um, today because like with the same makeup look just because I um, do have everything that I'm going to get for no October already like there's nothing that's going to get to me um, before November so yeah I will be doing a wish list. I know one of you guys recommended me to do a wish list well in a couple videos back so don't worry I will be doing the wish list and if um, I know I asked this in my last video but in case you didn't see my last video um, I did ask you guys if you guys wanted me to do like will I buy it and stuff because I used to do some of those videos back then but like I feel like I stopped To conceal the under eye which is my favorite part because I feel like concealer really well I just feel like concealer sometimes ties everything together it makes especially with like such a dark eye but yeah I did pick up the Mandalorian the child palette um I'm not sure if I'm going to be reviewing it but yeah I mean I, I I hope I can just because it's such a cute collection but who knows? Sometimes I get another makeup item and I'm like, ooh, let me review this. And then, you know, sometimes my schedule is a little bit more busy, so I can't always film uh, like reviews as much as I would like to. I obviously do upload two videos a week, but sometimes like those videos are already like pre-filmed. So, all right, so now I'm going to set my face. If you guys don't like seeing my face makeup every single video, definitely let me know. I feel like when I just do the eyes, it's like, I don't know, I feel like I don't get to interact with you guys as much. But if you guys are just interested in like the eye part, definitely let me know. It's crazy because I bought this Maybelline powder, like I had it as a backup for so long and now it's like the only powder that I reach for. Um, but yeah. I don't know, I just really like that it has like a tint to it. I definitely recommend it if you guys are in store for a new powder. Alright guys, so now I'm about to contour this face. Um, I'm going to be using, honestly, I've been reaching for the Aesthetica bronzer that I got in my BoxyCharm and the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Out of all my bronzers, I really like this one and I like the Chocolate Soleil one, so yeah. I've just been reaching for them a lot. Which is crazy because it's like I got this in my box of charm. Like you wouldn't really think this would be something I would be reaching for. Okay, so I'm just gonna go underneath of my jawline. So for blush, I'm actually gonna be taking the ColourPop Interstellar Blush, one of my favorites. This is such an underrated blush, and I only feel like because it wasn't released like on ColourPop, it was released on Ulta. Like I'm pretty sure um, you can still find them at Ulta, like online. They're my favorite blushes to this day. So I'm gonna be taking the Benefit Cookie Highlighter and just grabbing my highlighter brush I'm just going to be grabbing a little bit and putting this on just the tops of my cheek and just like a little bit on the tip of my nose that's all i've been doing all right so now we can finish off the lower lash line for my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking a little bit of rock bottom, which is the black in the palette. And just putting it as closely as I can to my lower lash line. And I'm just going to take it on the other part. I don't want to drag it too into the inner corner. So next, I'm going to grab a pencil brush and I'm going to grab a little bit of a Rumor Mill, which is the gray shade, and I actually really like the gray shade. Um, I'm just going to use that to kind of 
blend it out a little bit. Alright, so now for the inner corner, I do want to use a um, highlighter shade from this palette. I'm going to be grabbing a pencil brush and going into this shade called So Fine. Which does come off a little bit of a like, pink shade, but once you blend it out, it's not that pink. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and mascara off camera, but before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. Alright, so I'm going to be grabbing Angel Baby from Artist Couture. I picked up these palettes during his sale that he just did and I have been obsessed. They smell so good too. Mm. So I'm just adding a little bit of that to my lips and then grabbing Shameless lip gloss. Alright you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my lashes and mascara off camera and I will see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I decided to put on some lashes put on some earrings and put my hair in a bun so it looks a little bit more classy and so you guys can get like the full vibe of it but i'm actually obsessed i really think it's really cute and just like really sultry and i fuck with it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um but yeah i think the whole nude lip and everything ties everything completely together so yeah so my final thoughts on the palette i really really liked it i mean it blended out really well the eyeshadows were really nice i mean it can get bad really quickly, but so long you're blending it, like mixing the cool tones with a little bit. They're not exactly warm tones, but just mixing some of the more gray tones with the browns. I feel like totally made this look like a super nice smoky eye, and I really, really love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below and turn on your post notifications so you guys never miss a video. I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye.